I'm Natalie Mears and I've just been promoted um, to be Professor of Tudor and Early Stuart History. So I'm working on a book on Elizabeth I, which I think of as Elizabeth I meets Me Too and Black Lives Matter. And what it's about is accounts of Elizabeth by people who are not elite, educated, white, Protestant, straight men. Um, because they're the people who have really dominated um, the accounts of her. And I'm looking at the other sort of histories, literature, um, images. I go from everything from Jane Austen's work to Japanese manga and anime, graphic novels, video games, which I don't play, um, uh, to, to look at how these are different sorts of people have reimagined Elizabeth's reign. What I love about Durham is the just amazing resources that we have. Um, we have some, if you like, manuscript archives which are relevant for, for my research, um, particularly actually for Elizabeth represented in the 20th century. But more particularly, we have a whole host of databases of digitised documents. We have state papers, we have the Cecil papers, we have material at Lambeth Palace. And some of these databases are phenomenally expensive. Um, so it's wonderful that I just sort of like have them on tap. For students, to be honest, I'd, I'd like to think that the, the appeals are the same. So it's not just me who has the, the access to all these kind of fancy databases. As a student, you will too. And you can be working on these, not only in your third year when you get to do a dissertation, but you can be doing it earlier. Um, I, I should have lots of advice because I'm a former admissions tutor. The thing that I would really emphasise is working on that personal statement. So the sorts of things we're looking for are enthusiasm, critical thinking skills, um, independence, time management, um, ability to engage with other people um, you know, who might have quite different backgrounds from you. So yes, they can be demonstrated with all the conventional things, what you've been reading um, at school, um, trips to stately homes, sporting prowess, etc. But also there are other ways which you can show that. So for instance, if you've had a part-time job, that's a really good thing to talk about because it's shown that you've had responsibility, that you've had to work with people, perhaps, you know, 10, 20, 30 years older than you, um, you've, you've shown responsibility. Perhaps you've had to look after um, your siblings whilst your parents are at work. Again, it's responsibility. You've had to manage your time because you've been doing that and your schoolwork. So do think laterally about what it is that you've done and you've, you've experienced that you can kind of bring to Durham because we're also looking for people who kind of stand out.